Hello, Matt from Drobo, and I'm going to present a live demo of Thin Reclamation. Thin Reclamation is an automated process of reclaiming deleted data and returning it to the shared data pool on the Drobo. So to start, let's go ahead and take a look at my B800i. On my B800i, you see, I have a uh, collection of uh, small drives in this unit, only a couple of terabytes of physical capacity. And as I come over to my capacity tab, you're going to see I'm using about 64% of the unit. As I come over to volumes, I'm using, uh, I have a couple of volumes, a 16 terabyte, a two, ter a two terabyte, maybe another two terabyte. So I have a very large amount of data provisioned on the unit, although I'm not utilizing all the space. I'm only utilizing about 64%. So what I'm going to start by is actually going to one of those volumes, and I'm going to delete a very large amount of data. As soon as I delete those files, the Drobo is going to kick in the process of thin reclamation, where it's detected that those files have been deleted, and now it's going to reclaim that space and return it to the shared data pool. That allows that storage space to be utilized by the other volumes created on the Drobo. So one of the great things about Drobo is where I can be covered on both sides. First, we have thin provisioning. So we can provision volumes in excess of our physical capacity. So my Drobo only had about two terabytes of physical capacity, but it has about 20 terabytes of volumes provisioned. As I add data to those volumes, it's going to consume the storage pool. And then as I delete data, it's going to automatically return it to the shared data pool. So I have very efficient utilization of storage. You know, I'm going to shrink and grow, and I never have more space consumed than I actually have in use across all volumes. So as I've deleted the data now, as we see, where we once had 64% in use, we're now down to 29%. So because the Drobo is data aware and it can see all the way to the file system level, it detected that I deleted that whole bunch of data, and now it's returned to the shared data pool. So those 20 terabytes of volumes I have created can now continue to grow the data out uh, and use that data in the shared data pool. You know, this is one of the great features of Drobo. If you compare it to a traditional RAID system where you're locked in in those sizes, if I had one volume that grew uh, very large uh, over the capacity I initially estimated, you know, I'd have to reprovision, reformat with a Drobo. I can go ahead, allow that to grow, swap in additional disks, or add larger disks at any time, and have the maximum flexibility.